Hallelujah, hallelujah. Viewers all over the world, everywhere, wherever you are, you're watching me. This is your prophet, prophet, Dr. David Kingleo Elijah. I have been on this very mountain for since morning, looking unto God and uh, believing God for the next level. But uh, as the Lord begin to take me to show me things in the realm of the spirit, I see myself and I see the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra called uh, uh, Mazi Namdekano. And uh, the spirit and what I'm seeing, I weep for Namdekano. I weep for Mazi Namdekano. And uh, this kind of weeping is not uh, a weeping that uh, is easy to go about. I begin to ask myself and the question is why, why, why? Why? And this is what is very, very vital in the realm of the spirit. Because uh, the spiritual world is where controls the physical world. We cannot be in the realm of the spirit to see things as the Lord is showing us uh, and keep quiet without doing what we need to do. People of God all over the world, especially the Biafran Jews, I want to let you know that uh, the problem that Master Namdekano is still having today are caused by his people. And I begin to ask why? Why is his own people being the problem that he's going through? Why is these people being the problem he's going through? And the Lord said, tell the people and tell his people to quickly, as quick as possible, deviate and focus on what is called spiritual. Because without spiritual, we go nowhere. I want to let you know that uh, all over the world, uh, every country that has ever achieved the freedom must achieve their freedom being spiritual to be able to achieve freedom. You must be politically correct and also you also must be people that are highly spiritual. And I begin to ask, what is the major problem? The major problem is that the followers of Master Namdekan, many of them are never spiritual. They are carnally minded, they are not doing what they need to do. They are not seeing from the realm of the spirit to look at the event of things and what is unfolding. How can an evil man be the enemy of an evil man? How can the people somebody is struggling for and fighting for be the people fighting the person fighting for them? How can the people that somebody is speaking for be the ones speaking against the person that is speaking for them? How can people that are supposed to unite and be together and talk in one voice and move in one direction for a better future, for the capturing of tomorrow, to making sure the fulfillment of the desire of the people come together? How can they become enemies of themselves? Why are they killing their own leader? Why are they destroying their builder? Why are they fighting the people that are helping them to get to the next level of their destiny? Now I want to let you know that freedom fighting is not to kill people. I want to let you know that freedom fighting is not to be all the time no enemy, enemy, enemy here. Your enemy can be the one that will help you to actualize what you are looking for. Your enemy can be the one that will help you to get into the place you are going. If you look at the Bible, you go to the book of, of Exodus and look at when the people were sent by the leaders of Israel, especially the man called Moses, he sent the people, Joshua and Caleb, to go to spy the land. When they went into the land to spy the land, what happened there? You find out that it was Harlot that kept them. It was also the inhabitants of the land and the people that they are seen as the enemy were among the people that kept them and preserved them. And the taught them things about the land until they were able to see all they came to see. They kept them, preserved them until they were able to come out of the land and go back and bring their report to their leader. Now you are fighting a freedom. A freedom fighter must not be a person that become enemies all the time. This one is your enemy. That one is your enemy. This one is your enemy. That one is your enemy. Is a big problem. I want to advise everyone that has ear to hear what the Spirit is saying. It is important and very, very important that we begin to look inward. How do we help our people? How do we help our people? How do we help? Namo the Kano out of the prison. How do we help him to actualize the desire of an evil man? We are not fighting to kill. We are not fighting to this. We are all fighting for things to be all right all over the nation. For things to be all right in our place. For the right of the common man to be given to him. For that which is good to be done. For the right thing to be put in place. This is what we are fighting for. We are fighting for the freedom of the people of God that are caged. The people of God that are caged in a contraction 
and caged and tied up, not allowing them to serve their God the way they want to serve their God, not allowing them to lead their God and bring a revolution that will change the world, that will make the world to know that God is real and God is in heaven and God is also on earth. To prove the world that there is something that a black man has that is not common with the things people all over the world has. You know, America and other countries of the world, Europe and uh, all the Asian countries have been able to show their technology. They've been able to show what they can do. They've been able to show their development. They have done so many things. They have been able to go to the moon and go to, to, to the space and do all of that. But do you know there are a lot of hidden, hidden ideas of technology and deeper things that is yet to unfold that a white man cannot be the one to champion it. Major Prophet is speaking to you because I know what I am talking about. I have been able to be taken by the Spirit to go to the spiritual world and visualize what is happening in the realm of the Spirit. And this is why I always have the power and the ability and the strength to come out here to tell you what I'm telling you. There are people that are something, a lot of things that the people that are called white men, they have their limitation where they can get to. But there's another realm that needs to open, that it's only black people that can cross that realm and enter the dimension. And these black people are not the, uh, the, 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 the white Jews. They are not the, 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 the Israeli Jews. They are the Jews of Africa. And they are the people from Africa that are known as the Jews of Africa. These are people from the place called the Biafran region. They are the people that are the people that God is waiting for, for them to emancipate and come out of all this darkness that has covered the people shining so that they can use them to now develop and discover the things in the spiritual world that the white man cannot be able to understand. And this is what major prophet God has been seeing all this while and making me to now ask the question, why has Igbo man been the enemy of an Igbo man? Why are the people that are following a man be the reason why the man is not fully free? Because they have taken what is called what is called what's called betrayership. Because they have sided and go the other way around. They are busy fighting themselves and sending this one, send a strong word of course, this one will send the word of attack, this one send the word of attack, and leaving the real deal. I want you to know that the focus of every Igbo man is right now on Nambekano. I want you to know that every focus of the, all the Biafran people, their focus should be in the canon. That is standing there as a point of contact to now negotiate the best for their people. Negotiate how we can stay in this country. Negotiate the right way to go. Negotiate the peace of our people. Negotiate the best for our people. Negotiate how we can rule our destiny. Remember a songwriter, somebody wrote a song and said, Destiny, I want to rule my destiny. Destiny, I wanna rule my destiny. I wanna rule my destiny. Destiny, I wanna rule my destiny. Somebody wants to rule his own destiny. But it's quite unfortunate that when I look at the numbers, I begin to ask, I say, why are people now being the problem of their persons? Who the problem of their people? Why? Why? Why fighting here and there? Why cursing and fighting your messengers, fighting your leader, fighting your prophet, fighting your people, pulling down the walls that God has set? I want to let you know that every kingdom that has gotten their freedom, especially from the Bible, you look at there are always priests that are standing at the forefront. When the Israelite was going to possess the land, after Moses have used what is called the spiritual grace that God has given to him, the staff, to part the Red Sea, they crossed and entered the other side. On their way going, they now met another thing called the, 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 the River Jordan. Then Moses was no more with them. How did they cross the River Jordan? It was the prophetic grace that God released on Joshua and the instruction that the people that are carrying the ark will be the first people to carry the ark and step into the water. After the praise and all that they have done with God and the instruction, they carried the ark and move into the water. The moment the sole of their feet got upon the water, the river Jordan parted and they were able to now walk on dry ground to where they were going. And when they got to the place where they were going, don't forget that it was the enemies that now taught them how to enter the land. Don't forget that it was by the instruction of their prophet, it was instruction of God through the prophetic and the spiritual that they were able to pull down the wall of Jericho. The wall of Jericho is already built around to stop people from getting to where they're going. 
Now, if I and you cannot pray together, if I and you cannot believe God together, if I and you cannot walk in unity, if I and you cannot pray together for the emancipation of Nigeria in totality, for the right thing to be done, if we cannot agree for the will of God to be done, then how do we now get to where we are going? So I weep and I weep and I weep. I weep for Mazen and the Kano. He has a people, but these people are not spiritual enough. They are not seen. They are not looking at the spiritual world to understand the handwriting on the world. And that is why he has paid the utmost price. He has paid the utmost price. He has paid the greatest sacrifice. And this is what makes people, when they look at themselves, they say, Oh, why am I dying for my people? Look at the people I'm dying for. What have they done for me? Jesus came and died for people on the cross of Calvary. Yet the people he died for are still the reason why Jesus is still weeping in heaven right today. He died for them, but many of them have turned their back on him. So you don't look down on your prophet. Don't look down on your leader. Don't look down on the people that God is bringing on your way. Because this is the only way forward. Don't say, oh, this one, yeah, he did not say A. Because he did not say A, is bad. This one did not say B. All of the people you see, all of the people you see are, we need all the people. We need all the people for the best to happen. We need all the people for us to emancipate and get to where we are going. Heaven is yet to welcome us because of some certain level of our heart. Our heart needs to open so that we can get to where we are going. And I asked this question, I said, all the freedom fighters, if you know you're a freedom fighter, all of you, wherever you are, you know you're a freedom fighter, it is time to reconcile, to pray, to be spiritual, to join hands together, to pray in unison. I begin to mention so many of them, many of them, whether you are the other side or you are here or you are there, I don't care to know where you are. I'm not anywhere where you think I am. I am in Christ Jesus and I am doing my own water as a prophet of God and a freedom fighter to make sure that the will of God is done. And this is why I ask you people, I weep for Mazinam the Kano and I say, why? May the Lord help us and come out of all the pains and all the agonies and let the hand of the Lord be stretched so that the peace of God will reign, the will of God will come to pass. That which God has prepared for us will get into our hands without any story. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Thank you, Jehovah, for this very message and this revelation. Let your name be praised forever. Jesus' name, amen.